Tune in every week to The Kamla Show. We bring you interviews and conversations with technologists, entrepreneurs, filmmakers, and other newsmakers from in and around the Bay Area. Here's a quick peek at some of our upcoming interviews and highlights from our shows that you may have missed. My guest today is Alice Hoagland. Alice, Alice's son, Mark Bingham, lost his life in the 9-11 tragedy. Flight 93, which was the flight on which her son, Mark, was traveling, was the one that was going to attack the Capitol Hill. And then she saw me and said, Alice, come talk to Mark, he's been hijacked. So the very first we heard about 9-11, about all the bloodletting, was from Mark. And this was about 15 minutes before he met his death, too. He was calling us to let us know what happened. And as it was his, his custom, he didn't really want to tell us what all he had seen. He didn't tell us that he had probably seen three or four people knifed to death before his eyes. And that the captain and the first officer were lying dead in a heap just outside the cockpit door. What he said to us was, well, he said, Mom, I just want to tell you I love you. I'm on a flight from Newark to San Francisco. And there are three guys on board, there turned out to be four, who have taken over the plane and they say they have a bomb. No, 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 I like books. You like books? Books are great technology. Great technology. They've never, it's, it was a genius technology 400 years ago. It's still a great technology today. Incredibly portable. Actually feeds into a brilliant sort of um, spatial organization system known as the bookshelf, which um, really helps with your brain. Like you remember where things are. You remember where things are in the book. So you remember where the word is on the page. You remember where the page is in the book. You remember where the book is on the shelf, where the shelf is in your house. Um, all of that you know, organization. He had a dinner. And then at, the, uh, uh, at that moment, Rich Shapiro said, we like the idea. We'll give you the seed money, $1.3 million, to start the company on one condition that I had to move to. Silicon Valley. He, w he was not ready to give me money to start a company in Canada. So, so that made me just pick up the bag and baggage and move to uh, the Silicon Valley. And, so, and then you settled here and then the company went public and uh, today Brocade is, commands quite a bit of market share exactly. in that uh, space. That's it's SAN, That's correct. storage area network. To be, you know, uh, to be precise, we uh, officially launched the company started the company on uh, 18th of August, 1995. 1997, we had the first product released. And uh, one, one other very, uh, uh, very uh, unique thing we did. When we started the company, we knew what we were going to develop. But we did not start developing because we were to put it on a paper, put it on a presentation form. We crisscrossed the country, talked to future potential customers, tell them what we are going to do how it's going to add value to their applications and uh, use. And it was, uh, it was a wonderful trip that we had. We, had, we accumulated a lot of good feedback. We brought the feedback ba back to the, uh, to the company, sat with the engineers, fed them. Then they took this uh, you know, feedback and then froze the design. Okay, nice. Then we and this one is then the driest. Then you have the, the white burgundy, or the, the uh, French Chardonnay. And that's the driest? Yes. And so Riesling, the mouth is uh, narrow. This one is wide. And uh, some of these glasses, if you went to the area in Europe, they would be using that glass, some of them. Others uh, are just, uh, they, they, look like, they look nice and they go well with that particular grape, that is. Then we have a... Uh, a wine made by Randall Graham from Bonnie Dune Vineyard called Les Cigar Volant. And this is a blend of three different grape varietals, your Syrah, Grenache, and Mourvedre. Red wine. You can always catch our shows on our YouTube channel.